All right, today we're gonna do a little uh, versus uh, the GX4 Toro with the uh, six MOA Hollow Sun versus the Ruger Max 9 uh, with the uh, Vortex six MOA. So they're both six MOA dots, uh, pretty comparable, uh, both really well, uh, very good. Uh, the sizes are basically the same. The prices are basically the same. Uh, just a little over 300 bucks each so um, they're pretty comparable they're probably the two most affordable micro compacts you can you can find uh, that are also optic ready you get a lot for that price but um, I'm not going to uh, do a versus based only on my opinion uh, I'll give my opinion towards the end but we're gonna actually uh, play the dot game or dot torture with both guns um, and then we'll just see the results and we'll go from there. So um, I have already started shooting this morning. I shot my competition gun so I warmed up so this is not cold. So neither one should be unfair because I'm shooting one cold and one I'm already warmed up. But um, so with that being said, I'll go ahead and go with the Ruger Max 9. Uh, for some reason I find that the, the trigger is a little easier. This one is a nice trigger but it's a little heavy and getting used to the break is is a little difficult so let's just go ahead and sort of cheat and i'll get kind of tuned up on the trigger here and then start uh by then i should be i should be good with this gun so it'll be a little bit more fair but this is how it'll work i'll go ahead and just run the gun all the way through 50 rounds um so the first one is slow fire five shots um, then the second one is draw one shot five times. So I'm going to run it from appendix out of each holster, which is the same. And then the next three and four is draw one shot on uh, three and one shot on four. So you do that four times. Then five is uh, draw five shots strong hand. Then six and seven are double taps in each. Uh, so draw, double tap, double tap. And then you do that four times. Eight is uh, draw five shots weak hand. So I'll draw it and I'll just transfer it over to my um, my left hand. And then 9 and 10 is draw one shot, one shot, uh, tactical reload, and one shot in the 10. That's three times. So that's this is basically a box, one box of 50 for each. So it'll be 50 rounds and then we'll tally up the score and uh, we'll see what we get with each. And then I'll, I'll kind of give my opinion towards the end. But um, so we'll go first with, the like I said, with the Ruger and then we'll just... We'll run this at three yards and we'll check out the setup right here. All right, this is the setup I have. Um, I was already out here shooting, like I said, so I just went ahead and stapled them onto the targets. I put them close to the same elevation, even though that one's a little higher. I still started at the top of the A. So I already wrote on here Ruger Max 9 this uh, July 22nd, Saturday. So that'll be the GX4. So I'll go ahead and start on this one first. Um, from the three yard line and I'll kind of put the camera on so you could see me uh, during it and the shots so we'll uh, we'll just go from there and try not to take too much time for this try not to make this 30 minutes so I'll stop and start the video and edit it in all together we'll get to the end we'll add it all up and I'll just give my opinion so we'll kind of see it's, this will be more than just an opinion no one else is out here to help me uh, give our opinions to each other so we'll just see how well they have formed how well each of them performs based on the dot torture and then that'll be basically the winner today so all right let me get loaded up and we'll get started on the Ruger Max 9 all right took me a second to get the camera set up um, so, so I didn't shoot so the muzzle blast doesn't come out and hit the hit the damn camera so uh, we have uh, my angle and we have uh, some on the target here I guess I can move this over a little bit and I'm at three yards. Uh, I'll use the timer when it comes to the drawing stuff. But for right now, since it's five shots, the first one is five shots slow. I'll just uh, start out. We'll shoot the five shots. Take my time. And then when I get to the other stuff, when it's draw on the first shots, um, the time is not going to be important. What, what I will do is when I do draw, as soon as I get it on target, I'll start taking the shots. I'm not going to sit there and try to and draw and try to take my time and make sure I... Uh, stack one round on top of the other um we're, we're that's this is we're gonna try to just as soon as that dot gets in there i'm gonna break it so if the start 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 flying out or whatever i'm not gonna try to 
shoot as fast as I can, but I will, as soon as the dot gets in there and I'm ready to shoot, I got an acceptable sight picture, I will take the shot. So we'll kind of see what, we, what each gun does on, the, on that, but we won't record that time for that. So let me go ahead and start with the five shots. Uh, it's just slow fire in the one. So I'll just take my time on this one, see if I can stack them. So I got all the time in the world for these five. So here we go. All right, threw one out, got a little crazy. So uh, still got some rounds. So now number two is draw one shot five times. So turn the timer on and I'll just go off the beat. And uh, I guess I'll make sure I fold this under so the elastic don't get caught. And we'll just do, uh, just go ahead and take care of that now. So draw one shot five times on number two. One. Drop that one. Three. Four. Lost the dot. So I dropped that one again. Uh, okay, so draw one shot on three, one shot on four, four times. So draw one shot and one shot. Okay, so I got two here. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll reload it. And then when I'm done with the next bag, I'll, reload, I'll stop it and we'll go. So here we go. Three and four, draw and one shot and then transition to another shot. All right, let's change over. Not trying to get crazy here. So that's one. Drop that one. Two. The, the longer you try to take, the steadier you try to get, you kind of start pushing them shots. So that's three, so one more. So I keep dropping that first one, but it could be me, it could be the gun. So it should tra probably transfer over to the next one. So draw five shots, strong hand on number five. I should have enough. So what was that I just shot? Uh, should have been eight. So that was two from the last one. So that's six, six out of 12. So I should have enough to do, to do the uh, strong hand. So I'll draw and... And just, um, yeah, I might as well just clear the garment with the one hand and, and shoot it. So here we go. Drop two. All right. So uh, Double tap on six, double tap on seven. So let me go ahead and top off these mags and we'll get we'll get finished. <clears throat> All right, I went ahead and marked up what I was down on each one just so I don't get confused as we finish this off. Um, so if it if it didn't break inside of the uh, if it broke inside of the black line, I would count it. Um, actually, so this one one of these. Uh, that's tough to call. We'll just call it no. So it actually started outside. So we'll just be fair. We'll try to be fair on the same one. So I'm already down quite a bit of points. Um, so let's just go ahead and finish this off and see what we got. So double taps on six and seven, four times. That's uh, one. I'm not exactly ba bam. Uh, I'm actually trying to 
see the sight. I mean, it is two inches. I am three yards away, but I'm trying to trying to be fair and trying to get those in there as best I can. So that's two. That's three. Change over. And one more. Alright, it got a lot better as we went along. So, uh, this one's a down one. And this is really tricky. So, I should have uh, four. Two times four should be eight in each one, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's probably an eight in there. So let's just call this, uh, let's call this down three. So that score isn't looking too good. <laughs> uh, but again, small guns, triggers, and yada, 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 yada. Uh, so let's see. There's supposed to be 50 rounds, but it looks like I'm getting close to the, the end here. But uh, okay, so... Number eight is draw strong to to five shots of the weekend. So this is I'll I'll draw transfer it over. That's five, and it looks like I dropped one. One really bad there. So that was there. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Unless that's two. Uh, that's we can count that one. We. Can. All right. Uh, the camera got hot and shut down. So I let it cool down. But I went ahead and just uh, finished off with the draw to one shots, the tactical reload. So. I didn't, uh, I didn't, I didn't do the dump the mag and hurry up and redo it. So tactical reload from, I believe I don't practice too much anymore is, uh, I shot one, I came, I topped it off and I put it, I just put it back in my pocket. I didn't try to put it back in the Neo mag. So, um, out of those, uh, whatever I dropped only one, I counted that one cause it's breaking inside that black. So that wasn't too bad. So all in all, I dropped 13, which should give me a total of 37 out of 50. So we'll move over to the GX4 and see how I do with the GX4. And then we'll compare it from there and uh, we'll, we'll give uh, an opinion or something. So here we go. All right, uh, so GX4's turn, 37 out of 50 on this one. Let's see what we can do. Uh, we'll start at the three. I'll just uh, sort it from the low ready or whatever. And uh, I'll just do the slow shots, the five uh, slow shots. I'll just make sure I get the dot in there and then take the five shots. I don't know if you noticed that, but uh, between three and four, four and five, I had a significant flinch. Uh, this trigger is a little heavier, but I made sure to take my time and got all five in there. Little unfair to that one because I kind of sped through that one a little bit. Uh, I caught myself on this one. That one of those probably should have been out. But let's go ahead and uh, hopefully the wind don't pick up and knock this down. But we'll draw and do the one shot. Timer is on. Let's check the beef. All right, we got to get through this before. I'm not going to try and rush the shots or nothing, but we'll try to rush through the process. I won't talk too much. So we'll draw on five shots. I'm taking more time. <laughs> it's probably cheating. Two. Three. Four. I'm stacking it though. All right, still performing better. So we have draw one shot on three, one shot on four. 
Uh, I think I have three left, so I'll do one and then I'll swap over the mag. So here we go. So I'll just do the attack reload now. So that one's empty. So one more, two, three more. Oops. Uh, I'll just go ahead and leave that in. So that was my fault for not properly seating a full mag with one in the pipe. So, all right, that was my bad. I think I've done that before, no big deal. A little too fast, but I, I threw that one. It was feeling good, so. Took my time there. All right, so the difference I'm noting, noticing right now that the trigger on the Max 9 is lighter. This one is heavier, but it seems like when you do start getting it under control, clamping down a little bit you, you get some tighter groups so I don't know if that's cheating because I used that one first but it is what it is so so far we're still looking good with this one so uh, let's see draw five shots strong hand so I'll do the same thing draw with one hand take my five shots and we'll see what we got Feels like feels like I'm cheating now, <laughs> but uh, I've done this once already. So now we're fucking finally down one again. So draw double taps on six and seven, and I'll have to top off. So let me stop this, top off, put this in the cooler real quick, and we'll get back to it. All right, we're close to about the halfway point. Uh, I loaded up the last rounds between the two thirteens. So uh, let's go ahead and finish it off. Double taps in six and seven. So let's, uh, all right, there we go. All right, double tap. Yeah, I'm not gonna try and blast them as fast as I can. I'll, I'll try to actually get the, wait for the dot to settle. Two more. And one more. Oops. Should have planned that out better. But nonetheless, uh, doesn't like to go into battery. Alright, so we finished that off. Uh, don't know if that's cheating or not, but we'll just move forward. So, uh... Draw five shots to the weak hand, so I'll just transfer over to my left. All right, that was terrible. <laughs> All right, so we should have the six left that we need, so we'll put the empty mag in there and then when it's done we'll just do the tack throw it back in my pocket and then set it back up again so real quick let's look at that it looks like i got uh one two three four five one two three four five so that was from the last one uh so let's just be fair here and we'll count only that one so i did drop those again the trigger's heavy uh so we're actually minus four right here and this one's minus one and we're still looking good here we have uh i don't remember which one that we'll look at this one again right now so let's just finish this up and then we'll take a look so uh one shot attack reload and then we'll finish it out should be just should be six rounds here we go back up put it in the mag the meal mag here we go
you that one more. Here we go. Alright, and that's the end of that one. Uh, let's see. The shots all look good. One, two, three. One, two, three. So, what do we have on this one? So, two shots times four, we should have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, those should be four in here. One, two, three, four, somewhere in there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So unfortunately, this will be a down one right here. Uh, so we'll count them all up. One, two, three, four, five, six, four, five, six. That looks fair. Minus six from 50. So that's 44. All right, let's uh, talk about this. All right, let's wrap this up. It's getting hot. Uh, it's uh, the uh, camera keeps getting hot, so I'll try to wrap this up real quick. So the winner for the uh, dot torture, dot torture test um, game, whatever, fifty rounds for each is uh, maybe it's a surprise or not. It is the uh, GX4, the GX4 with the Hollow Sun 407K 6MOA. Um, both dots are uh, six him away, so the similarity is uh, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty similar. <laughs> Clearly, the similarity is similar, but um, uh, the the dots are pretty close to about the same. I think the vortex is a little bit more crisp, but that's just my opinion. So on the uh, the so this you can if you want to get these you can either download these on i think it's pew pew tactical they have a package you can you can download and print them out or or you can go to afi and that's adaptive firearms institute um like dot com and somewhere in that website uh he has a list of targets and games and instructions on how to play them and these are on there so uh, this is a guy i've trained taking many classes with here in tucson uh, so go check them out, AFI, Adaptive Firearms Institute, and get these printed out, and you can play the dot game as well. So these are his. Uh, I just printed them out. So anyway, the GX4, down six total uh, out of 50, so with a score of 44, and the Ruger Max 9 was a score of 37. I was, believe I was down 13. Um, so let me just make this clear from the beginning. When I first took the first shots, I actually dumped a bunch out on the doing the slow fire so i stopped erased that uh footage because i was rushing through the shots instead of taking my time and uh i rushed through the shots and i was like well that's not fair i'm that's supposed to be slow shot slow fire so i repasted a new one and i started over and i dropped the one so on the gx4 i didn't do the speed and mess that up but what I ended up doing was I took the first shot and then the next four I actually dumped out of the circle real low because um, like I'm saying about this trigger is, uh, it's really heavy. The, the brake is really heavy. It, it, it's a really nice trigger, crisp brake, but it's, it's a heavy, it's a heavy brake. Um, if you get a chance to, to mess around with one at the gun shop or something, check it out. It's, it's, it's really heavy. And the Ruger Max 9, the problem with that one was it's extremely light. It's it's quite a, it's quite a bit lighter. So I mean it has some mush right there. So you're on the wall and it has some more take up, but it's it's a real clean light break. So when you start getting on that when you start breaking it and then get back, oops, hit that. On that reset, you come off and then you pull back and somewhere in that mush it breaks again. So uh, I rushed through those shots on that one. I thought it wasn't fair. This one, it was a harder break, and I thought that wasn't fair. So since I started it over, I started it over on both of them. But uh, this one being shot the second time, I, I did pretty good. If you look at the difference in the groups on both of them, this is a real tight, tight shot group with the, with the one shots versus over here was a bit of a mess. Being that soft the trigger, trying to find the wall and then pull the brake back 
that's 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 what I feel feels like. And then uh, the draw one shot on each, pretty tight. A uh, little bit one up there, pretty tight there. Similar, these are tight, but I dropped one. And then the five shot strong hand, I dropped three. This one I dropped one, so they were still pretty tight. Uh, and then the double taps, I did pretty good here, not so well here. Um, I, like I said, I don't know if I was speeding up. And then the here's where it uh, the difference is here. So on the uh, GX4 shooting with my off hand, my weak hand, my left hand, I pretty much only counted that one right there. So I, I made it fair. It broke inside. The other one didn't break inside. So one was here, one was here, and two were way on, down on the cardboard. And on the uh, Max 9, I did a little bit better. And I think, uh, I think I only dropped one here. Or did I count all these? One, two, three, four, five. I may have counted all or just minus the one. So let's see. Actually, one... Uh, 4, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there must have been down to 12, 13 that I counted out there. So either way, I actually got two shots and then three real close. And in this one, uh, I, I didn't get, I was not very good at all. And then we get to the, uh, the one, reload one. Um, and, um, yeah, I don't know how that one is down one. Oh yeah, it's only three shots. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we could see tighter groups, actually. So once you get used to that trigger and you grip down, um, yeah, the, the, shots are, the shots are nice. So this one's a little bit more precise. But like I said, the trigger is heavier. I really like this gun, uh, especially with the further shots, actually. Because uh, when I do run it and I get a little bit pr more precise, um, I get a little bit more patience and I get that dot on there and it breaks. This one, I'm not having run it too much with further shots. Um, I actually did enter this one. I, I ran a bug, a backup gun match with this one and I won. And I won uh, very easily. I, I mean, um, I put a gap on the rest of the competitors and uh when i left that day i knew uh, if anybody beat me then they freaking earned it but I, I was extremely confident with this one this one i'm not so sure um i, I it, it's all a matter of me getting some more practice behind it and getting used to that trigger for those further shots so i'm gonna go ahead and hold off on that one and i'll probably use that one again for the next match but those are just my opinions uh the trigger is really heavy on this one it's the trigger isn't new this just the upper and everything is so but um i don't know it, maybe i need to sit there i mean the so everything in here the 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 firing pin and all that stuff that's that's all new the the entire upper but it is a little heavy like i said but if you grip down on it uh then whatever it is pretty fast but based on the dot torture game the GX4 is the clear winner. Pretty decisive. Um, let's see. So we were about, what, about 7 points? So 44 out of 50 versus 37 out of 50. So if you, I mean, like I said, I had shot already before I shot each one. It just so happens that I shot the dot torture with this one before I got to that one. So that might have something to do with it. But the difference in points is uh, pretty significant whether I shot that one first or not. And you can kind of check out the groups. So the clear winner is a GX4 between these two. But if you're looking at getting either one, get either one. You, you really can't go wrong. It's just a matter of uh, which trigger you prefer. And you'd have to shoot them both to see what I mean. This one you start getting on that reset and it, it and it will go off if you're if you're not careful this one ain't going off without you putting uh a significant amount of pressure behind it but then when you do do that you you will tend to 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 do to push down on the on it and and do the drop shots so uh, i know this video is long enough already so again the gx4 is the winner in the head-to-head -head contest and uh yeah check them both out they're both great guns so there you go
Thanks for watching.